Exploring Secure Track. How to monitor HCL Domino user management. In this Secure Track tutorial, we're going to demonstrate how Secure Track can be used to monitor user management within HCL Domino. We will see how Secure Track was able to create and log a detailed audit trail of activity whenever a Domino administrator performs routine user management tasks. In this first example, let's take a look at how SecureTrack was able to monitor the related activity of when an HCL Notes user registration was performed by a Domino administrator. Here we see an example of a new user being registered in a Domino administrator client. In the basic section, we see the user information, default password, and that a Notes ID will be created. In the mail section, we see the mail database file name that's going to be assigned as well as the Domino server location where the mail database will be created. And we see the ACL access that will be assigned to the mail database for this user. In the address section, we see the email address format that's going to be used. In the ID info section, here we see the certifier that's going to be used and that a notes ID vault exists in the environment and that's where the ID will be stored by default. However, in this example, we'll also store in the Domino directory and in the file system. In the group section, we see that this user is going to be added to the HR admin group of the Domino directory. Now that the information has been specified, the new user can be registered. Once registration has been completed, we'll then review the various different actions that occurred during the registration process. Now that the notes user was successfully registered, if we go into the Domino administrator client and take a look at the Domino directory, very specifically the people view, we can see the new user Patrick Dorsey has been created. Opening the document, we can see the specific details as it relates to the user, including their username. We can also see the domain name and Domino server name where their mail file is located. We also see their email address as it was assigned. We also see at the bottom of the document the user ID file that's been embedded into the person document. There's a few important details, however, that by simply looking at the Domino directory information that we don't know. Moving back to the view, we have no idea at what time the person document was created and the user was registered. And we also do not know which administrator created the new user registration. This is where SecureTrack comes into play. Knowing that SecureTrack was running in the background while this user was being registered, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the logs that were generated by SecureTrack that give us very detailed information about this particular user registration. Before we take a look at some sample secure track logs that would have been generated as a result of the user registration process, let's first review the summary of actions related to the new user registration process that we just saw in the previous example. During the user registration process, the following associated events would have occurred in the Domino environment. A person document would have been created in the Domino directory for the new user. The new user would have also been added into specified Domino directory groups that were identified during the registration process. A mandatory copy of the new notes user ID file would have been stored in the Domino ID vault. And lastly, the mail database would have been created for the newly registered user. Here we have a sample SecureTrack Domino directory monitor log that specifically log the action of a new person document being created in the Domino directory as a result of a new user being registered. The action details section shows important information such as 1. Who initiated the action? In this case we can see it was the notes admin. 2. The date and time of the action are also noted inside the secure track log. 3. The database title and file name location are also identified, clearly in this case being the Domino directory or names.nsf. 4. The action type, which is create. 
And that specific action is associated with the new user registration process that just took place. Five, the form name used by the document and the canonical name of the user that was registered. Six, document ID and link to the document where the action was triggered from. Seven, a link to the secure track monitor document that triggered the event to be logged. And eight, whether or not the full access administration privilege was initiated and used during the user registration process. In this example, that is no. Now we will take a look at a sample domino directory log that was directly related to the user registration process, whereby the user registered was also added into a domino directory group. Looking at the action details, we see similar information that we described in detail in the last slide. However, directly related to this event, we see the form type was a group document. We also see the group name HR Admin. The action type in this case was update. Looking at the document details, we see the important information that shows us the original group members before the change was made to the group, as well as the new members that were added. We can see outlined in the red rectangle that Patrick Dorsey was added as a new member of the HR admin group. As we saw in the user registration summary, the third element that we saw there was that the fact that the newly registered user's user ID file was going to be added into the Domino ID vault. To capture those events, we use SecureTracks database monitor. Looking at the left side screenshot, we can see the SecureTrack log, and very specifically the action details section, where identified in the, within the red rectangle, we see the database title identifying the domain's ID vault, as well as the database path listing the file name for the actual ID vault database itself. We can see the form document used was ID file. We also see the action type here listed as create action, which is directly related to the fact that a new document was created within the ID vault itself. Looking at the monitor fields tabs, we have various bits of information there, but focusing in on the information in the red rectangle, we see the ID owner field which specifically lists Patrick Dorsey as the individual that we registered in the example a bit earlier. Looking at the right side screenshot, we can see the attachment tab that lists information regarding the user ID file itself that was added into the ID vault. And for reference purposes, a copy of the actual user ID is stored within the secure track log as well. The last component of the new user registration, we saw that along with the user being registered, a new mail database was going to be created on the server. Here we use SecureTrack's intrusion detection monitor to capture the events related to the new database being created on the server. Looking at the action details, we have the date and time of the event, the event type, in this case being new database creation, and the specific details where we can see that a mail database for P. Dorsey or Patrick Dorsey was created by the notes admin. Conveniently as well, we have a link to the secure track monitor that triggered the event to be logged, as well as a link to the originating log where the information regarding the new database being created was captured from the log.nsf database. In example number two, Let's take a look at how SecureTrack was able to monitor the related activity of when a Domino administrator performed an update to the internet password field of an existing user's person document in the Domino directory. A request has come into the IT help desk from Patrick Dorsey, who was recently registered as a Notes user. They seem to have forgotten their internet password and have requested that it be reset. Here we have the Domino administrator logged in to the person document for Patrick Dorsey. They go down to the internet password field and click on the enter password button. They proceed to input a new password for Patrick Dorsey. Confirm the password selection and then save the changes to the document. 
Let's take a look now at how SecureTrack was able to log this activity. Before we take a look at a sample SecureTrack log that would have been generated as a result of the internet password field of a person document being updated, let's review the summary of actions that were directly related to the actions taken in example number two that we just saw. During the process of updating the internet password field in the person document for Patrick Dorsey, the following associated event would have occurred in the Domino environment. The internet password field in the person document for Patrick Dorsey was updated and the changes to the person document were then saved. Here we have a sample SecureTrack Domino directory monitor log that would have been generated by SecureTrack as a direct result of the internet password field being updated in a person document. In the action details section, we can quickly identify some critical information such as who initiated the event, in this case it being the notes admin. We have the date and time of the event. We can also see the location where the update took place being the domino directory or names.nsf. We can see the document type that was updated was a person document for the user Patrick Dorsey. We see the action type was listed as an update, which would directly correlate to the fact that the internet password field was changed. We have a document ID that can be clicked on that would lead us directly to the person document. We also see which secure track monitor actually triggered the event to be logged. And we also have information identifying whether or not the notes admin had invoked the full access administration privilege to execute the change. In this case, it was not used. In the connection details section, we can see the IP address of the workstation where the action took place from. And in the document details section, we can see the two fields that were updated directly related to the HTTP or internet password. We see the original value on the right side column and the new values in the left side column. In both cases, for security purposes, of course, the password is displayed in a hashed format. In example number three, let's take a look at how SecureTrack was able to monitor the related activity when a Domino administrator performed a delete person request within the Domino directory. To process the termination request from the Human Resources Department, the Domino administrator proceeds to locate the person document for the affected employee, in this case, Patrick Dorsey. Once selected, they proceed to initiate the delete action. From the list of available options, they confirm the selections, for example, deleting the person's mail file from their home mail server, deleting any IDs that may exist in the ID vault, and for extra security measure, adding the person's name into the terminated employee's deny access group list. Once the request gets submitted, the administrator has to confirm that they want to delete the user's ID file from the vault. So they go ahead and confirm that selection. And now the request has been submitted and processed. Now we'll take a look at how SecureTrack was able to monitor the delete request activity that was performed for the terminated employee. Before we go ahead and take a look at some sample secure track logs that would have been generated as a direct result of the notes user deletion request, let's go ahead and look at a summary of actions that would have occurred in the Domino environment. During the user deletion process, the following associated events would have occurred. A person document would have been deleted in the Domino directory or names.nsf for the terminated user. The terminated user would have been deleted from any Domino directory groups and subsequently added into a terminated deny access group. The user's ID for the terminated individual that was stored in the user ID vault would be deleted as well. The terminated user would be deleted from any database ACLs, whether it be mail database or application database, and subsequently the user's mail database would also be deleted from the server. Related to the first event in the notes user deletion request, we have a secure track domino directory monitor log that relates specifically to the person document deletion. In the action details, we have important information such as the initiator, the date and time of the event, the database title being of course domino directory, 
the form type and the associated document being the person document for Patrick Dorsey. We see the action type in this case being a hard deletion. We also see whether or not the administrator had invoked the full access administration privilege while the action was requested. In this case, that is set to no. In the second event related to the notes user deletion request, we see another secure track domino directory log sample where the user was deleted from a group. In the action details, we can see the specific group name that was affected, in this case, the HR admin group. We see the action type being an update. And then down in the monitor fields, document details section, we see the members field was updated. Again, with the original value on the right, showing the terminated user's name, and then the updated new value in the left side column, where that terminated user's name no longer appears, thus they are no longer a member of this particular Domino directory group. As an added security measure after a terminated user has been deleted from the Domino environment, their name is also added into a deny access group. In this example here, we see that group is called the terminated employees group. Looking at the document details, we can see that Patrick Dorsey is a new member of this group. Any attempts to use the user ID for Patrick Dorsey or from logging in via web browser, any requests will automatically be denied as a result of their name appearing in the terminated employees group. Related to the third event that would have been triggered by the notes user deletion request, here we have some sample secure track database monitor logs that track the activity related to the user ID deletion from the ID vault. In the left hand side screenshot, we can see the action details that identify the initiator, the action type in this case being a deletion, the form type we can see the document was an ID file type document. In the document detail section, we can see the monitor fields tab that identifies the form is indeed an ID file related document and that the ID owner was Patrick Dorsey, who happens to be the terminated user. In the right-hand side screenshot, looking at the attachment tab, when the ID file document was deleted from the vault, for reference purposes, SecureTrack did capture the fact that the attachment was deleted, and it also captured a copy of the ID file for reference as well, which remains in the SecureTrack log. Related to the fourth event that would have been triggered as a direct result of the notes user deletion request, here we have a secure track ACL monitor log that would have been generated when the terminated user was deleted from their own mail database ACL. In the action details, we see abundance of information, particularly identifying the mail database that is affected by this action. Looking at the ACL details section, we see the deleted entry for the previous mail file owner, Patrick Dorsey. We see their ACL access as it was at the time of deletion. We also see a snapshot of the original database ACL as it was before any of the changes were made to the ACL. Related to the final event that would have been triggered as a result of the notes user deletion request, here we have a secure track domino directory log sample whereby the administration request database was being monitored. Whenever user deletion requests are submitted that pertain to a mail database deletion request, the notes administrator must go into the administration request database and approve the deletion of the mail database file. So here we have the log sample that identifies that the notes administrator did in fact go into the administration request database and updated the status of the mail database deletion approval request. We can see in the document details that the document in question was related in fact to Patrick Dorsey who was the user that was deleted also showing the mail database file path. And then we can see the modified flag field is now set to one which would identify that the administrator did go ahead and approve the deletion of the mail database. Secure Track Audit Trail Tutorial Summary. In this tutorial, it was demonstrated how SecureTrack was able to create an audit trail of events 
triggered by Domino administrators while they performed various types of user management in the HCL Domino environment. The following secure track monitors were used to create the audit trail logs that were demonstrated and explained during the tutorial. The mail monitor, database monitor, domino directory monitor, and intrusion detection monitor. To learn more specifics about the configuration options available in each of the secure track monitor, be sure to visit the Extracom YouTube channel for detailed video tutorials available for each of the specific secure track monitors. We hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. To learn more about our products, please visit our website for more product information and additional tutorials. Visit us at www.extracom.com.